Okay. This is Bill Graham with Microclone Plant Tissue Culture and I am at monstergardens.com and you guys get to be the first ones to see this. This is brand new. Um, what we've done is we have taken tissue culture techniques and created a seed starting kit for old seeds uh, or seeds that you um, are valuable that uh, you know just need an extra uh, kick to get them going okay and uh, really I'm going to show you what we got going it all started when I had friends come to me with like 20 year old seeds they had found in their tackle box and they knew that they were plants that they had really enjoyed uh, I'm sure it was something special from grandma and they were really afraid that if they tried to germinate them like they were that they could possibly get spoiled uh, when they're germinating them in the paper towels or even if they had put them into soil that they might get fungus or something on them and those are the things that we're addressing the special part about tissue culture is that we are using elements like sugar to grow plants and we're also ster surface sterilizing the plants so that they don't have fungus and things on them and these are the two things that we're concerned with when germinating old seeds what we did find was that for uh, other plants that have particularly valuable seeds that um, like orchids for instance that uh, we can give those plants a head start using the exact same techniques so let me show you what we put together in this kit uh, we're going to start by giving the plants a, a surface sterilizing I'm going to throw seeds into this bottle right here this is um, a 0.15 percent solution of hydrogen peroxide sounds really complex but really what this is it's grocery store peroxide diluted five, um, 1 to 20 so I've got about um, 2 milliliters and I added 40 milliliters of water so we've got the hydrogen peroxide I'm going to probably include this in the kit just like this and so what we're going to do is we're just going to throw in a couple of seeds into the surface right here and then we'll close that up and what we'll do is we're going to sort of swirl that and rinse the vessel back and forth and leave this in a in a warm and not brightly lighted location until the um, uh, surface of the seeds is clean usually about um, anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour depending on whether you have a smooth surface seed or a rough surface seed let's just say that it's been an hour because these are smooth surface seeds give it a soak in the hydrogen peroxide and then here's where it gets really special is we're going to move these seeds into a solution of sterilized sugar water uh, with oxygen so you can see the oxygen's already started to bubble inside this is where we start to do the special stuff this has cleaned the outside of the seed so that fungus and things are, are already gone on from the outside of the seeds now I'm going to take those and put them in this solution here this will uh, what will happen here is when the plants soak up the germinating liquid over the next couple hours the liquid they absorb will have a little bit of sugar in it it's our own recipe and there's also an oxygen source in this solution so the plants will be soaking up a little bit of sugar and oxygen which is exactly what they need to germinate but the, the problem with old seeds is that the enzymes are basically they're slow, tired, or damaged from heat, cold, humid, dry, all the things that can happen. Um, but the seed can still be viable. Our best example of this was in 2009 when the Russians found the little weed seeds in the rat hole and they grew plants from 20,000 year old seeds we're doing exactly the same thing they're doing this sugar and oxygen solution will soak into the seed and the seeds will sink when the seeds have sunk we'll take those out and we'll move them into these tubes I don't have the medium but I've made medium for sterile tubes that contain sterile uh, coca coir with a little bit of sugar and nutrient solution in it that will give the seed a perfect medium to germinate in it'll start growing roots in here it gives the top of the seedling room to grow and as soon as we see roots start to grow in here I can use my forceps and take that out we can extract the entire thing roots tops and everything use your imagination 
and plant this into whatever we want to root plugs small pots that you know we it, we will have taken an old seed that may not have germinated and very likely would have become contaminated and been able to grow it into a two inch uh, two inch seedling um, that we can now plant into an ordinary um, an ordinary pot of soil now let's let me go ahead and share one more thing with you too because when we're doing this with healthy seeds like valuable healthy seeds you know there's uh, some um, some special tomatoes and uh, vegetables and things where single seeds may be fifteen or twenty dollars and for fifteen or twenty dollars do you really want to risk just putting them in paper towels using these materials and this exact same technique we've been able to soak hydrate and germinate healthy seedlings that grow this tall in 24 hours 24 hours to a seedling this tall now let's just call that the exception but two or three days is still impressive and we are doing that because we are putting in mobile sugar um, and uh, oxygen which is exactly what the plant is supposed to be doing on its own but we're just doing it a couple stages up up the line from when it ordinarily do it that is those are the uh, basic pieces of the microclone seed starting kit and this is monstergardens.com all of the best grow products in the world are available at monstergardens.com please use the link below the screen